More than a decade ago, an exciting new duo would start their professional careers. One would go on to be the most expensive player in football history, while the other became a far distant memory. Hey guys, welcome back to the pitch. In today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to cover the career of Paulo Enrique Chagas, also known as Gunso, and what happened to his career. As always, before we start, don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button for more content. And guys, let's get into today's video. Gunso at age 15 will be discovered by the Brazilian football manager and former player Giovanni Silva Oliveira who would bring him to play for the Brazilian football club Santos FC. He would then go on to make his debut during Santos' 2008 season after being sidelined during the 2007 season due to an injury. On the pitch, Gunso was a tall slim player whose number was a classic number 10 that had the ability of an intelligent playmaker who was able to dictate the pace of the game to his own comfort if need be which is why in his first season he was given an abundance amount of playing time on the pitch. By the time his partner Neymar would make his arrival, Gunso was already an established name on the team sheet and soon after in the 2010 season with Santos they would win the Brazilian Cup, then won the Copa Libertadores in their 2011 season, one of the most prestigious competition in Brazil. Also Gunso would win several individual awards during Santos 2010 and 2012 campaigns. With all the success Gunso was able to achieve with Santos, fans to football pundits were giving praise to Gunso left and right. Some even compared him to the legendary Frenchman Zinedine Zidane which put Gunso in a joyous mood. Every time an interviewer would tell him in the several interviews he would have early on in his career. Then the Brazilian legend Dr. Socrates praised him by calling him the best player of his generation at the age of 21. Now guys let's take a look at Gunso's career on the international side of the game for a quick minute. In 2010 after Santos had just won the Brazilian Cup Rumors spark about how Brazil should call up Neymar and Gunso who were practically still teenagers to play for the Brazilian national team in the upcoming World Cup, but Dunga, the manager at that time said no. However, this had no effect on these young talents, because after 5 seasons with Santos, Gunso was known to control the midfield while Neymar did much of the scoring. Now here's where things take a turn for the worse as most football fans would say. Since Neymar was doing much of the scoring at Santos, rumors circulated that Gunso had a sense of jealousy towards his partner, but he would deny them stating that they had a true friendship and Neymar was like a brother to him. They were so close that Gunso is the godfather to Neymar's first child and was present during his birth. Even though Gunso denied the rumors, his actions differed from what he stated because he would force his way out of Santos after he denied a new contract by the club since him and Neymar weren't paid the same wage. So in 2012 it became official that Gunso would leave for Sao Paulo in a deal that was worth 12 million dollars which angered most of Santos's fan base because Sao Paulo and Santos are rivals. Now signed with Sao Paulo, Gunso would go on to have limited success with the club for the next 5 years of his career. Even though the club would win a South American Continental Cup within 3 months of his arrival, but that would be the only trophy he would win with the club. However, his form did improve in the following years but he was playing with the likes of Kaká, Alexander Pato and Luis Fabiano which brought out the best of him. Then in 2016 after his contract with Sao Paulo had ended, the European football club Sevilla paid a fee of 10 million euros for Gunso, who was 26 at that time. At this point, the future was looking bright for Gunso. After the deal went through, Gunso said in interviews that he's coming to Sevilla to win titles and work harder than ever. Sadly, this goal was never achieved because after two years, he would leave to play for the French league team Aminez, but left Aminez after one year to return back to Brazil to play for some Brazilian club. Guys, now that you guys know the events that occurred during Gunto's club days and how it had its ups and downs, I'm going to answer the question I asked at the start of this video. What happened to Paulo Henrique Chagas' career? During Gunso's winning seasons with Santos, he had knee and back problems early on. Plus, he had two major surgeries on both of his knees, which left him sidelined. Then his arrival at Sao Paulo had a great start with them winning, but he did not perform to the best of his abilities until Kaká, Alexander Pato and Luis Fabiano would make their arrival. Then he had a chance in Europe with the European football club Sevilla, but he didn't meet expectations. 
So to the French league he went, but coaches made small comments about how Gunso didn't have an impressive work rate with the club. Now, 31 years old, Gunso does not have time on his side to make amends, and I can say the years at Santos were the best years he had in his career. Guys, at the beginning of Gunso's career, he looked like a star in the making, but as time moved on, injuries, low work rate, and failure to adapt ended his bright career. Anyways guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video, commenting, subscribing for more content, and to check out these videos on Alexander Pato and Dr. Socrates. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.